Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here, and I wanted to take a moment to explain how the St. Thomas to St. John car ferry works. And obviously, it goes from uh, it goes from Red Hook, St. Thomas, to Cruise Bay, St. John, and obviously the other direction as well, Cruise Bay, St. John, to Red Hook, St. Thomas. Now, what you're seeing here, the ferry is departing Cruise Bay in St. John and it's heading to, uh, to Red Hook, St. Thomas. A few things you want to be aware of if you've never been on the ferry, especially if you're traveling down, it is a very good way to get from, uh, to get from St. Thomas to St. John. And what I usually do is rent a car, or a Jeep rather, I rent a Jeep in St. Thomas and ferry it over. Now prices fluctuate, so check the website uh, for the current ferry schedule and, and pricing information, but typically it runs every half hour. What I would recommend not doing is, uh, is purchasing a round trip because there's multiple ferry operators. If you purchase a round trip, you're limited to that uh, particular ferry operator. Now, if you just do a one-way, it costs, uh, and again, prices fluctuate, but typically it's a few dollars more than if you did round trip. But that way you're not locked into a certain operator. And when you arrive, if one ferry was full, you could wait on the next one and not have to worry about which operator it was. So for that reason, I would definitely spend a little bit extra and get the one-way ticket. What's cool about the ferry, you can see people are getting out of their cars. You have the option to get out and walk around. Um, you can sit in your car if you want to, it doesn't matter, but it's just a cool, it's a cool ride uh, between the two islands. And there's also a people ferry. This obviously is a car ferry. Uh, what I would recommend if you're uh, if you're just wanting to to go to the other island and maybe you don't have a rental car, you may just want to do the people ferry because it's a lot less expensive. But it's it's a uh, it's an interesting experience. It's very well organized. If you're if you're pondering uh, whether or not you want to ferry a vehicle to St. John. I would highly recommend it because it's not that difficult and once you uh, once you get over there it's great because you've got your if you rented your Jeep or whatever on St. Thomas you've got it on St. John and you're able to have the convenience of flying into Cyril E. King Airport in St. Thomas and then going over to St. John so it's really not logistically speaking it's not that difficult to get around. But I wanted to share this video because I know a lot of people, including myself, uh, before I had been to the uh, to the USVI for the first time, I didn't know what to expect with the ferry. So this is what to expect. And when you get to the other side, the uh, the front gate that you see there, it'll let down, and then people just start driving off. It's it's very well organized, and and it's a lot of fun. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It's YouTube.com forward slash IRICSGUY. I've got a few hundred USVI and BVI videos now and uh, thousands more coming soon. So be sure to uh, subscribe and share with others. And feel free to drop me a line directly by way of irixguy.com. I'll try my best to respond and I appreciate your viewership. Y'all have a good day.